You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video on hidden packages in Grand Theft Auto 3. So I've made two videos about this so far. One going over all the different package locations in Portland where I ran around and found all the packages. And then we did one for Staunton as well. And we're doing a final one today for Shoreside Vales. There's 32 packages left before we'll be done with them and gotten an even hundred. And uh, I'm gonna go around and get the last of them today. So we're up here near the water here, basically near this dam and there's two packages. There's one on each of these little areas. I don't even know what these are, really. They look like maintenance closets. So I'm assuming this is like where the controls for the dam are, probably. So there's package number 69. Okay, I know what you're all thinking. Don't say it. And then and then package number 70 is going to be the next one over here. I am not much of a driver. Hold up. All right, that's better. Okay, Just trying to start a fire, apparently. Okay, here we go. This one is a health pickup, too, which is nice. Right, let's just go ahead and stop. Good deal. And here's number 70. Oh, wait. what I get? what I get? I forget you get something every 70 packages. AK-47 delivered a hideout. Awesome. Alrighty, so our next location is right here down below the dam. And it actually took me a while to figure out... Oh, crap. Why is this guy chasing me? I don't know. Anyway, it took me a little while to actually find the road over there that came down to this area. I was just going around, driving back and forth across the dam, trying to figure out how the stink I got down here, because this was fenced off. Just totally oblivious to the fact there was even a road there, so that's kind of funny. Anyway, that's package number 71. Alrighty, guys, and we were just over there getting a package, right? So you would think to yourself, well, Cass, the next one can't be that close, can it? Well, hell, you'd be wrong, because it's actually right up these stairs. Boom. Yeah, but you didn't see that coming, did you? All right, so the next one's gonna be right over here also at the bottom of the dam, and here's the here's the deal, guys, here's the deal. Big old jump down here. All right, now that might have seemed messy, but as you can see, I'm in great shape, and I got an insane sun bonus, so there you go. So we're gonna wanna drive right over here to this building. All right, boom, I can't actually get this without getting out of the car, can I? Ah, oh, that was a bad, uh, that was a bad way of doing it. Yeah, H had a bit of an oopsie. Can I, can I, uh... Can I still get the package? Yeah, are we good? Yep, okay, all right, still got it, still good. Okay, guys, this has nothing to do with the collectibles, but as I was driving by over here, I just happened to pass this. Check this out. It's the dancing fence post. You, you gotta admit that just fills your heart with joy a little bit. I mean, look, it's having so much fun, come on. Like, look, there he goes, down the street. Doesn't even have a little donation hat or anything. Look, look at him go. Alrighty, so going over here, this little group of houses, very beautiful little area. Wouldn't mind living here myself, quite honestly. So this is gonna be a little confusing because a lot of these houses look the same, but I think what we're trying to look for is one with a pool. So I'm gonna say probably this one next door here. Can I just go around? Uh, I might have to go outside. It's kind of tricky getting in and out of these little housing areas because of the hedges and where they all go to, okay. Wait a minute, here we go. Okay, see it's this one with the pool, and there's the package right there. All right, and so the very next, the house very much next door is gonna be the one with the next package, number 75. Who the hell is shooting at me? Oh, crap, okay, I did not anticipate that going on. Oh, stink. Boom, sit the stink down, buddy. The house next door is the one that has the next package. Uh, I can see why people like to run around and try and grab these before they get too far within the game. Because when the gangs are chasing you down, trying to shoot at you, it really makes everything a lot harder. <laughs> so, let me grab a car real quick if I can, try and protect myself. Okay, so for the next one, it's actually going to be up over here where this mansion is. But you need a specific vehicle to get a gate open for it, like you do for... A handful of collectibles in this game and for this one you need the Colombian gang car which is over here this is just kind of one of the spawn locations for it kind of like the construction yard in Staunton except this one uh, isn't locked you don't have to worry about coming to this one and being locked it's right near the pay phones we're just gonna go ahead and grab that and I'm gonna drive right back over to that mansion so I'll see you guys in a second alrighty so we're here at the mansion now so I'm gonna go ahead and try and get in so hopefully they'll open the gate up for me there we go. All right, so we're gonna wanna drive here around in the back, and we're gonna wanna go to the swimming pool. And yep, with any luck, there should be a package here. Boom, number 77. 
All right, so our next one is going to be over here where that uh, off-road vehicle mission is, Gripped, the one you have to do with the Patriot. A lot of people found that one particularly challenging. I got that one done on the first try. I don't think that was the hardest one. I think the one in, um, I don't know if it was Portland or Stotland. I'm going to say Portland. I think Portland was the hardest one. But then again, that might have just been because I wasn't really used to it. So I don't really know. Anyway, that's package number 78. All right, so over here is going to be the next one. We're going to want to get out here, over down near that uh, payphone. I'm gonna go back around behind this building. There it is, back here in this little alleyway. There you go, there's number 79. We got one more and we'll be at 80. Alrighty, so right up here on the highway, a little bit over to the right of my house, you know, over there where I like to chill, you can see that ammunition sign, and down there you can probably barely see it, is the package. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hop off here. I can't really do that. Uh, can I hop off? There you go, Never mind. I can do it just fine. Just gonna go ahead and face plant down here on the road and hop over this. And there we go, there is package number 80. What do we get in our apartment? Let's go. Sniper rifle, woo! Speaking of our safe house, that's gonna be where the next one is. And I could stay down here up front and admire everything, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna go right back over here behind it. And here's that RC toys vehicle from earlier when we already did that activity. But if you go behind that van, there's another package. Hey, let's go. Okie dokie. So over here the left, right before you go in this tunnel. Uh, I guess this actually is the thing that takes you down to Portland Island, doesn't it? Yeah, so that takes you to Portland. But if instead you go in here, up here on the sidewalk, you'll see the next package. Okay, guys. So this next package is kind of complicated. So we want to go up here. Basically what I did was I just kind of found the road and drove back into this lot. And right here you have this little ramp. So we're gonna jump up here, and we're just gonna go ahead and jump over here to these little crates. Then from here, we're gonna wanna jump down this roof, and then we're gonna run right over here, this next one. Then I think down over here behind this fence, there should be the package, there you go. All right, that's how you get here, and obviously now you're kinda trapped, but we can just go up here and jump out again. It, just make sure you have some armor and plenty of health, I guess. Okay, so this next one is right over here near the pay and spray. It's just down the street from where we were. There's the police station right over here is what this is. And over here's a garage with some goodies in it. And we're just gonna go ahead and kind of jump down this way over this wall. There you go. All right, so we're back behind the police station now. We wanna jump over here if we can. There you go. And here's package number 84, right? Yeah, 84. Okay, so the next street down from where we just were, so there's like the police station right over here, right? We're on like the opposite side of it now. I'm trying to line this car up with this red crate right here, because as you may have seen, it's uh, it's right here on top of this. I'm just trying to make it a little easier to jump over that. There you go. Almost uh, almost fell off, but I, I did make it, so that's good. Okay, so the police station's right up here, right? So this, where we are right next to at the moment, is the hospital. So I'm gonna drive right in here, that police car looks like he's gonna run into me for a second. And I'm gonna go back behind this a little bit. We're just gonna kinda drive behind it over here near this dumpster. And there is package number 86. All right, so down the street from the pay and spray again, we're gonna go over here. And we're just down the street from the police station. So I'm gonna go back in this way behind this building. And, okay, that's a pill. I almost thought for a second that was a rampage, but then I was like, no, that's not possible. I've done all the rampages already. So it can't be that. Okay, we can't really drive any further than this. That's okay, so we just wanna go back here to these barrels, and there's number 87. All right, and so the next one is gonna be right over here in this little factory area, over here where it says Turtlehead Fishing Company. So I'm gonna go back over in here to the doors with the numbers on them go upstairs, I'm pretty sure, is where we're supposed to go. Okay, let's look around for a second. And I'm guessing it's gonna be up here on this roof, right? Da, da, da. I don't see anything. Oh wait, there it is. I see it, it's over there on that other side, okay. So I should have been going over here then, instead of, uh, instead of where I went to. Okay, well, that's fine then. So let's go ahead and grab this one. Good stinking deal. Okay, so in the exact same spot, right behind this building, is gonna be, I think is the 90th package, right? Or is it 89? I'm not sure, let's see. Kinda lost track. 89, okay, so the next one's gonna be 90 though. 
All right, so right over here near the water, there's gonna be this little wooden bridge, ramp looking thing. I guess it's a bridge, and or it was at one point. Down beneath it, uh-oh. Okay, well I didn't particularly wanna get crushed by a car and sent into the water, so good thing I got out of there in time. Okay, so go ahead and grab that, and there we go. What did it say was delivered to my hideout? I missed it, what was that? Okay, I went back and checked, it said M16, that's awesome. All right, so nine of the remaining 10 packages are gonna be in the airport. So we're gonna be hanging around here for the uh, majority of the next little bit of the video. So the last package is over here on this bridge, but we'll get to that. So the first one's gonna be over here where we get the fire truck, which is right over here in the airport when you first drive in. So one of my viewers actually showed me last live stream, or didn't really show me, but told me where to go to get the fire truck since we we're going around doing that little fire truck activity. All right, there's number 91. Alrighty, and for number 92, I'm gonna get back in my car here, and we're gonna go over this way. All right, that's kind of a narrow little gap. Let me see if I can get myself lined up a little bit better. Oh man, yeah, that is not easy. Okay, all right, let's go through here, and we're gonna wanna drive all the way back around this way. Awfully empty airport, isn't it? I always think of airports as kind of busy and crowded, but not this one. All right, so the next package is gonna be over here out in the airport, uh, over here near where the actual airplanes are. And I'm specifically looking for one that's underneath an airplane. In fact, it's this one right here. It started raining. Thank goodness they fixed the rain, right? <laughs> All righty, and so number 94 is gonna be a little bit below of where we are. So it's gonna be under another airplane. So let's just kind of drive down this way and just sort of look around. Look at uh, all the planes, look underneath them. Um, okay, it should be, there it is. Okay, it's right in front of this one. It's over here near these helicopters. So let's go ahead and run under here. Hope we don't get crushed. There we go. Good stuff. Hey guys, check this out. Check it. Boom, aren't I absolutely magical? Okay, anyway, okay, yeah, but this one, but this one I can't drive through. How does that make any sense? Okay, so there's the dodo right there, and that's the plane you can technically fly, except I don't think the uh, flight controls work in this game, the remaster. Unless they fixed that. They might have fixed that in the 103 patch. I haven't checked yet. I'm not going to mess with it, though. I just came up here on this helipad to get package number 95. We got five more to go, baby. Let's do it. Alrighty, and so our next one's going to be right over here near where this pad is. We're going to want to go over here kind of towards the water, I guess. Yeah, you see this ramp where it just kind of goes down by the water. We're gonna want to go over here, just nice and cautious way. I don't really want to fall in. Again, there we go. Nice. Alrighty, and so the next one is over here down at the end of this runway. So we're just gonna go ahead and drive down over here. Uh, that's a little weird. Anybody see the leaves that were floating off over the water? Little odd, but okay. I'm just gonna just gonna ignore that. Kind of right up there with the dancing fence, really. All right, so let's go down here. Yeah, down this nice little gentle ramp. That's exactly what we want. Uh, hold up, hold up. I didn't mean to fall that far. Okay, well, is it around here? There it is. All right, so see, I did mean to fall that far all along. I just didn't know it yet. Okay, so the next one is gonna be here at the end of this runway, and I have chased a lot of people down this runway when I was doing the vigilante missions. So common criminals would just go down here and then just get stuck in a loop and just driving around and around and around this little circle here. But uh, anyway, behind these billboards is gonna be our next package. Good stinking stuff, two more to go, baby. Alrighty guys, so for the next one, we're gonna wanna go to this bridge here at Shoreside Vale, and this is the reason I waited until I'd unlocked the map to do the collectibles finding instead of doing it right here at the beginning, is because this bridge comes down and we have to wait for it to, uh, to come down here so that we can then wait for it to go back up again. Okay, I got it the wrong part. I got up on here too early. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get up here like where I am, but do it on that so that it lifts you up high enough to get to the next package. So I'm gonna wait for this to come back down, walk over there and then wait for it to go back up again, I guess. Okay, so I think I'm at the right spot now. I walked a little bit more forward and you see where this little light is? This, this weird little white light? I'll bet you if I look up high enough, I'm gonna see a package. There it is. There it is. I can always tell because of this light around it, right? 
So if I stand right here and I just give it a second and wait for the bridge to go back up again after an amount of time, it should, uh, okay, here we go. Yep. It should just lift me up right to the package and unlock number 100. All right, hold up. Wait for it. Yep. Here it is, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. Liberty cigarettes unlocked. You got all of them? Here's a little something. What did I get? It said it delivered something to my hideout, but I don't know what it was because uh, it was it was giving me the achievement. Alrighty, guys. So I checked, and it delivered a rocket launcher to my hideout, so that's super exciting. It's definitely going to make uh, shooting down helicopters a lot easier, so that's great. Also, we unlocked this new accomplishment, Liberty City Secrets, in which we need to collect 100 hidden packages. So yeah, guys, that's it. We've now officially collected every single collectible in Grand Theft Auto 3, and if you've been using my guides as guides, then so have you. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a big old thumbs up on it, or at the very least, if you found it entertaining. Till next time, I've been your host, Kess Gaming. This has been Grand Theft Auto 3, the Definitive Edition. And thank you all for watching. Till next time, I will see you all at the top. Amazing. Woohoo!